My name is Angie Mwangi, but everyone knows me as a fixer and I run a small movement on TikTok to empower everyone. My name is Lona. I'm a martial arts combat athlete. I practice a unified martial arts from South Korea called Tongil Mudo. And I'm the current world champion in my category, which is welterweight under 65 kgs. My name is Dr. Faith Donjiri. I am a mother of two girls. I am a leadership coach a mentor, a trainer, uh, a speaker, and also a leadership professor. My name is Sienna Dukowski, and I'm one of the directors at Lady Ascari. Lady Ascari is a female-focused security risk management uh, company that operates within the region, but we're based here in Kenya. Uh, my name is Maya. Yeah, so I'm basically like a freelancer, a free woman who travels around, does what I want, and obviously gets paid more than a man. I see you empowering women yes. so, so much, yes. right? And this year's theme is about inclusion, especially yes. in the financial space. Mm -hmm. So what have you done as Angie, as the fixer, to make sure that women are included yes. in this financial space? Mm -hmm. I teach women how to share their skills and generate for themselves uh, income without the blockage of you need to be to have a certain level of education to succeed. The thing about women is we do so much for everybody else. Yes. Women need to also learn to invest in themselves. Invest in your professional development. Invest in getting yourself to the next level. Not just caregiving, caregiving. Care. And I say that again as somebody who has young children and also aging you know, parents. Yes, so yes. I'm in that sandwich generation where you're taking care of everybody. Yes, financial wellness, financial literacy, financial inclusion, but please spend some of that money on yourself. We are very intentional about the way that we hire. We bring more women into the industry and help them rise in the ranks through the opportunities that we provide in terms of employment. Um, and so, you know, as an organization, we're 50%, we're actually 50%, 57% women um, in an industry that is 11% women. And so we're really intentional about the way that we just harness the skills of women and help them to rise in the ranks. Awesome. To be honest, martial arts is a male-dominated sport and young women and girls who are learning martial arts go through a lot of challenges and stereotypes from basically the community. The society teaches us that women belong in the kitchen, yeah. doing house chores and cooking, while men belong out there working yeah. in offices, doing engineering jobs. But in martial arts, we are trying to change that stereotype. I'm the co-founder for Kaizen Martial Arts Kenya. Okay. It's a community club. We are in Mukuru Kanjenga. Why Mukuru Kanjenga? Because this is a slum, and uh, women and girls and youth are the most vulnerable people in the society. What I'm looking to do is like to employ more women, um, to include women in the conversation. To even when I'm working in any workspace in the fashion industry where I'm modeling. Or wherever I am, I ensure that they're heard and they feel safe and sisterhood. Wherever you go, just carry on the sisterhood, yeah. As an action, what would you want? I want to be happy and I want to be peaceful and I want everyone to be happy and everyone to be their own authentic self. Everyone is unique and everyone has something to bring to the table. Um, I want the opportunity to thrive in the security space without being diminished as just a wife, just a loud time, um, just a gimmick. You know, Lady Ascari is a gimmick, and so we want to take up space legitimately, and that's what I. That is what I want. I want to feel more hard, more protected. You know. I just want to sit at the table where it really matters. And when I sit at that table, my voice has to be heard and respected. Yes, yes. Okay, thank you.